So you wanna learn how to chart, but everything just seems so overwhelming. Well, I'm gonna show you some of the basics that I use in under 10 minutes. So today I'm gonna to show you the basics of charting and what you're gonna to need to start out your trading journey. With regards to finding entries and things like that, I've got another video coming out, especially for you guys, to show you how I do it. So this is TradingView. Here you're gonna find all the trading tools that you're gonna need as a beginner trader or an advanced trader. They also have real-time data and a vibrant community that can guide you along your way during your trading journey. So every trader I know uses TradingView. This is what we're gonna learn on today. So click the link in the video description below to sign up for a free TradingView account. Once you are registered, you should see this homepage. First thing you wanna do is pick your token that you wanna search for. So today we're gonna to chart Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click the search bar and I'm gonna type in Bitcoin's ticker, which is BTC. And now it's gonna give me various pairs. You can see Bitcoin versus the US dollar. You can see Bitcoin all time history. What you wanna ideally search for is Bitcoin USD pair or Bitcoin USDT pair, which is Tether. I like to use Tether. I'm gonna click launch chart. Now I'm gonna break down what you see in front of you. Firstly, at the top left hand corner, you're gonna see BTC USD, which is our current ticker. So if you do wanna change charts, you're gonna click on that and you're gonna get access to your search bar that's going to help you select other tokens now it will open your btc chart and uh, at the moment you can see this is a weekly time frame so if you want to adjust time frames the first thing you want to do is go to the top of the screen and you can see at the moment there we've got 12 hour daily weekly monthly and uh, various other options if you click this little arrow next we have indicators that you can find on the top of the screen here you're going to find things like stochastic RSIs, the regular RSI, Bollinger Bands, moving averages, and all those types of tools that traders use. The next important section is the toolbar that you will find on the left-hand side of the screen. Each one of these tools has a drop-down menu that you can click on, and here you will find every single tool that you will need as a trader. If you are new to TradingView, the tools available here can be pretty overwhelming. So what I'm gonna to do today is show you the absolute basic tools that I use to get your charting going. So my favorite tools are Trendline. I'm gonna click on the top left here. I'm assuming you know what a trend line is. If you don't, you can sign up for Sniper School. Next, I like to use boxes to identify support and resistance areas. So I'm gonna click the box icon on the left-hand side. You can click the drop-down menu and you can see rectangle. Now I'm gonna highlight a few areas of interest for me. This is my first zone that has been resistance before, so I would expect that to act as some kind of support if we get a pullback. Let's identify another area. You can see the previous high, and that's tied in with the current high on BTC. So now we have a support and a resistance region. So as you can see here, I'm starting to build a picture for myself as to where my next setup or my next trade setup is going to be. Another little tool I use on occasion is the horizontal ray. You can find that at the top left hand side. You can click the drop down menu, use horizontal ray. And I use this to identify areas of support and resistance as well. And uh, here you can use the ray, for example, on this support zone. And you can also use it to highlight a high for you, for example. One of my favorite tools is the Fibonacci retracement tool. So I'm gonna use that one next. I'm gonna click on the top left. You can see these four horizontal lines. Click on the drop down and click Fib Retracement. Now I'm gonna pull the Fib from a low to a high. And as you can see on this particular screen, it's highlighted a 382 and a 618 Fib. Now, the first time you pull, the horizontal fib as a new user on TradingView, you're gonna be hit with a swarm of colors. So what you can do to get rid of some of the colors and select the fibs that work for you is click the gear icon in the menu and highlight the fibs that you wanna use. I like to use the 382, the 618 and the 786 mostly. The rest you can blank out or you can include on your chart. Okay. so. So once I've pulled my first fibs, I like to see where they tie in with pot potential horizontal zones. So what I'm gonna do is draw boxes around these areas. So I'm gonna go to my box, my rectangle again, and I'm gonna highlight the support and resistance areas. 
So you can see on the 618, it ties in nicely over here with some of these supports, as you can see here on the 17th of January 22 and uh, 21st of Feb. And then I quite like the look of this 382 tying in with some horizontals as well. So I'm going to highlight this with a box. And slowly, slowly, I'm building my picture and I'm building my setup. Now I'm going to pull in some indicators that I like to use. So what I'm going to do is go to the top of the screen. I'm going to click indicators. As you can see, I've got my favorites lists. But what you can do is click on technicals. That'll give you the full list of indicators available. As you can see, it's a very, very long list of indicators here. So I'm going to go back to my favorites. Remember, once you've found an indicator that you like, you can just click the star and it will save it in your favorites. So one of my favorite indicators to use is the stochastic RSI. So I'm going to click on technicals. I'm going to type in stochastic. And as you can see, it appears here in the menu. Go to technicals, click stochastic RSI. Close. And now you can see it's appeared here at the bottom of my screen. This is a momentum indicator, which I will be talking about in my next video. Another favorite indicator of mine is the moving averages. I like to use the simple moving average. What I'm going to do is go to indicators, go to technicals, type in moving average. And as you can see, it's highlighted here, moving average simple. Click on that, click close. And now you can see it's pushed out a moving average. Now what I want to do is make sure it suits my needs. And I like to use the 200 day moving average, the 50 day moving average, the 100 day moving average and the 200 week moving average. So for this example, I'm going to put in the 200 day moving average. So what you can do is double click on your moving average. And here it's going to ask for inputs. As you can see in this example, length is 200. Time frame is day, so I'd like to show the daily moving average. You click OK. So as you can see, I've now set up a basic chart with some basic levels. I've thrown in some fibs and I've added some moving averages. This is enough to get you started on your trading journey. Now let's take a look at the other options available on TradingView. If you take a look on the right hand side of your screen, there's another menu of items. Click on the top right hand side. Okay, so in your profile, you will see there's a specific list, a drop down menu on the right hand side. What you can do is create a new watch list by clicking the drop down menu, create new list, name your list, now we want to add symbols to it. So we're going to click the plus sign. And you're going to type in your favorite crypto that you want to follow. For this example, let's add Bitcoin and let's add ETH. Add Bitcoin USD and add ETH USD. So now I've successfully created my first watch list on TradingView with the two charts that I'm most interested in. And that's it. Now you've had a look at some of the basic tools available on TradingView and there's enough here to get you started on your trading journey. In my next video, I'm going to show you guys how I use these tools to grab the best entries.